aren't taught very well. Um, because I've got something wrong with my throat. I don't know what. Um, so today I'm going to be doing um, the makeup portion. This is the makeup section of my outfit. Um, Halloween costume. This is the Wednesday Adams part, so the hair is a mess because um, I've actually not long got up and I've got so much to do today. I want to get this filmed. So, um, Wednesday Adams is obviously a child, so this makeup is not actually that intense. Um, so, I'm just going to get started. So, I'm going to actually start with the face. When I do my makeup now, I tend to do the face makeup last just because um, I find if I put it on first it tends to look really cakey I don't know why but because I need to cover like my lips and stuff I'm just going to do the face first because it's easier so you want to take your normal foundation now Wednesday is very very pale um, she doesn't have white skin but she is very pale so I'm just taking my normal foundation which is quite pale anyway and then I bought um, a white foundation by Stargazer. I haven't tried using this on its own, but it's not that um, opaque, so I would think you would need a lot of this if you wanted a white face. But I'm just using it to um, make my foundation really pale. So I'm kind of doing um, half and half, and then I'm just going to mix them up. I haven't even got my mirror out. How unorganised am I today? I look really rough. I know I look rough because I'm not well. So I'm just going to mix those together. And then apply this all over my face. Now you don't have to do... Oh my god, I've still got makeup on my face from last night. That's classy. You don't have to do your face pal if you don't want to. Um, I just am because I want to kind of be in keeping with the character. Look at that hurts going down there. Ow. I'm going over the lips as well because my lips need to be pale. This probably doesn't look that much different to my normal makeup, to be fair. <laughs> okay. So that is the foundation on. Now I'm going to set it. I'm just going to let it kind of soak in a little bit. And then I'm going to set it. Um, I actually bought a new powder purely for this look. Um, I just got it really cheap on eBay. This was like two pound or one pound or something. I don't know. It's Miss Beauty London, but it's. I was just gonna get like a translucent powder, but I couldn't really find one. They all looked really non-translucent, <laughs> so I just bought like this super pale. This is called light translucent, but it does have a slight colour payoff. That's why I bought the lightest colour that they had. I think start setting it. This makes me think of my nan because it smells like that proper classic powder. Like if you use MAC or or something, um, I don't think it has the same smell. This smells like cheap powder, but it makes me think of my nan because my nan bless used to put a bit of powder on every day and it, she used to just smell like this and it makes me think of her, so it's pretty cool. Okay, I'm not going to use any blush or anything like that just because obviously this is supposed to be like a Halloween look and Wednesday does not wear blush yet. So I'm going to um, do my eyes, like my eyebrows first. I'm just going to use, where I can find it, 
my little angle brush that I always use. I use this every day. Um, and I'm going to do my eyebrows in black because she has black eyebrows and her hair is black. So I'm just going to do my normal brows. I'm not going to do anything special. It feels really weird to be doing my brows without using brow gel first because I always use the gel or wax or whatever you want to call it and then I use powder over the top so this feels really strange. Like I said I'm literally just following my own eyebrow shape. I would wear black brows, but I just, I think they're a bit much. Do you want me to zoom you in? Because when I have red hair, I dye my, I do my eyebrows in red paint. Oh my God, can you tell I'm not wrong bit up? Um, I do my eyebrows in red powder, but I don't really want to do my eyebrows in black because I just think it's a little bit too much. So I tend to do dark brown. I just think black is too much. I don't know. That one's longer. It always looks so weird when you just have your eyebrows done, doesn't it? How weird does that look? They're a little bit... I'm just going to dub over them with my powder. <laughs> okay. That, that looks really weird. I don't like them. <laughs> okay, now... I'm just looking at my picture for reference. Obviously, because she's a little kid, she doesn't wear makeup. But I am going to define the eyes a little bit. I'm not going to go mental. Um, but I am going to kind of lightly... Just, yeah. So I'm going to take that same black and I've just got a little, um, what is this? This is a blending brush by e.l.f. I haven't actually used this yet. And I'm just going to go kind of um, above my crease. I'm going to start like here and I'm just kind of sweep it backwards and forwards. Don't worry, this isn't it. Because <laughs> that looks shit. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my... Um, where is it? My fluffy brush. This is usually what I use under my brow. And I'm just going to really kind of go over that. You can see it's like really kind of fading it out. I'm just going to clean up the outside. I'm going to take um, just an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to take some of this black underneath as well. I have a small person coming. As well. I know you're here. Mommy, she has a big treasure chest. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to take some of the black. And she has that wings. Yeah. yeah. With one hole in there. Yeah.
Sunshine, hello, keep Draggy. Uh -huh. I'm gonna blend that out again. It's just to kind of make you look a bit tired, you know? And then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit more of that black and I'm going to put it um, on my lips. I'm going to put it on kind of the inside. I tried it in too. Are you? Yeah. I can see myself. I can see my face. Can you? No. Oh, you can't. No, Mummy's trying to film a tutorial, babe. And then I'm going to take a little bit of eyeliner and intensify that a little bit. Can I just point out, I am not doing black lips because... Black lips on a Wednesday Adams look really annoy me because she does not have black lips she is not a she's a child she's not wearing makeup but the photo that I've got I'll show you she's got slight blackening on the inside of her lips can you see this is the photo I'm using for reference this is like from the first Adams family film so, and I just want to kind of pretty much it now. Um, I'm going to darken my inner corners a little bit. Like here. I suppose what we're kind of going for is to kind of make ourselves look dead <laughs> that is kind of the theme with the Adams family isn't it they, they look well Morticia doesn't but they look tired and dead so this is literally all I'm doing I'm just kind of chucking a bit of black eyeshadow and then blending the crap out of it because I don't want it to look like eyeshadow a little bit more it's kind of a building exercise this one just building the layers that's all I'm doing I'm just placing and blending but I don't want to cover the whole eye in black eyeshadow because then it's just going to look like makeup and it's going to look like my everyday look to be fair so, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to take a tiny bit down, um, my nose. makes my eyes look a little bit more hollow, you know? i got to sit and do this at work. What's really annoying is <laughs> I'm doing this for work on Friday, but I don't really want to walk to work dressed like this. Um, so I've got to sit and do this at work, which is fine. But then I've got to go and do training at another store, so I've got to go to the other store dressed like this. This is going to be fun. Oh, well. For Halloween, 
Okay, the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of contouring on my cheeks. Not loads. Because I don't want it to look super obvious, you know. I'll just use the bigger brush. It's not a strip, no. Now all I'm going to do is um, put a little bit of eyeliner, not eyeliner, a little bit of mascara on, only because um, I don't really want to wear lashes for this look, just because, again, she's a child and she doesn't have, like, stupidly long lashes anyway. But I have to put something on to kind of define them a little bit. She's got very black lashes, so I'm going to put mascara on. If you want to wear lashes, it's up to you. If you want to wear black eyeshadow, it's up to you. If you want to do black lips, it's all entirely up to you. It's just not something that I personally want to do because I want to, if I do a specific character, I like to try and keep as close to the character as I can. But that's just me as a cosplayer, you know. At the end of the day, you can just interpret as you wish. This isn't me slagging off anybody who's done a look that isn't the same as the character. At the end of the day, it's your interpretation, isn't it? This is my interpretation. I'm just going to put my mascara on. I hate mascara. My lashes are not going to stay up at all. This is like the most minimal makeup I've worn ever. And that is pretty much it the Wednesday Adams. Now all you need to do is do your hair, which if I can find another hair bubble, I will do. I'm in the middle of decorating my living room, so my living room is like all over the place at the moment. I'm using the back out. Now Wednesday does have a middle part, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a bubble. I don't know how well my hair is going to sit in the middle part because my hair is so used to being um, side parted. I may have to wet this down. Oh god, that looks weird. I don't like it. <laughs> Obviously if you've got dark hair you can just plait it, if you don't you can just plait it or you can wear a wig, it's entirely up to you. You all know how to do plaits don't you? Does it go in front of her ears or behind her ears? Kind of over her ears, okay. I'm just going to really quickly plait these. And then I'm going to go and put my outfit on. Woohoo! I did buy contact lenses, but I don't know if I'm going to wear them. I'm not going to wear them for Wednesday. I might wear them because I'm going out in the evening. I did buy them for Wednesday because she has dark eyes, but I, I don't know now. I feel a bit of an idiot because um, when I plait going the other side, I can bring it round to the front and do it. But when I do it on this side, I can't do that. 
I don't know why. <sighs> this is so weird seeing me with a centre part. I don't like it. <laughs> okay. Hair done. I'm just debating something. I'm debating. Look at her hair. She has a point. I'm going to do the point. Okay. So I'm just going to take my flat eyeshadow brush and kind of. Do you want me to zoom you in? I don't know if you'll be able to see anything. I can't even see what I'm doing, can you? I feel a bit like Dracula now. You just kind of have it going into your hairline. Probably doesn't look that realistic, but it just kind of adds. So yeah, that is the Wednesday hair and makeup. God, I'm going to look sexy on Halloween, aren't I? Fuck. I'm going to go put the outfit on. So here is the outfit. I have put a belt on, and the only reason I put a belt on is because otherwise this looks like a friggin' night dress, and it looks awful. So I've had to put a belt on. But I've got the white collar, like Wednesday does. I've got leggings on because I don't have any tights. And then these shoes, these are creepers, and it is literally... The only shoes that I've got that I could wear. But um, I quite like it, to be honest. So I think I look like Wednesday. Do I look like Wednesday? I think I do. I think I look like Wednesday. I just wish my makeup was not quite as unattractive. But yeah, so this is the outfit. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. This is so weird seeing me with a party. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.